thing I'm going to do to start my navigation menu is I'm going to put what we have currently in here, this unordered list, into its own uh, div div container because that way I could target these elements specifically because if you remember um, our both our navigation menu and the elements of our form are list items in an unordered list so I want to by having another div container I'm going to target the navigation menu specifically later on when I um, start styling it with CSS so to begin with I'm looking at, let's see, so here we are, and I'm just going to, I'm, I'm looking at our page as it is now. I'm, I'm going to highlight our unordered list. I like to highlight it this way in the code because then I know for sure I'm getting the whole thing as opposed to, look, if I just highlight these two in design view, I may not necessarily be getting everything, as you see here. So I'm just going to go from UL to UL over here. And I'm going to wrap a div, div around it, a new div. Um, I'll do that right through Dreamweaver's menu over here. And it's going to be an ID, not a class, right? Classes you could, you could use over and over. IDs are going to be unique, um, unique to each page, so they can only occur once. So let me create a new style rule. And I'm going to name this nav-menu. You know, I go back and forth sometimes on my naming conventions, and if you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that I've used camel case often, which is nav menu would be N A V capital M E N U. And, well, I don't know. I'm kind of over it, so now I'm using dashes, whatever. So, uh, again, there's really no particular uh, benefit or, or, uh, that, well, there's no benefit to me using it this way or the way I did before. It's just a styling thing. And But I guess the one thing you should do is don't go... It's not good to be too wishy-washy with this because uh, you want to have a consistent naming convention. That way it's easier for you to remember how you've named things and kind of work with it. Otherwise, you know, uh, it could get messy quick. So, uh, okay, there we go. It wrapped a nice div tag around my menu to put a comment at the end of the closing tab over here that just um, ends nav menu. Pretty obvious now, but if we add more containers and stuff, it starts to get harder to tell. And ultimately, that's really the first step in the process.